Let me tell you what life is like as a seminary president. Is this relevant? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, fair, fairly asked, but yes, I think in this case. Uh, when, when I meet with the New Testament faculty, they tell me there's not nearly enough New Testament in the curriculum. I meet with Amen. The, I meet with the... I meet with the church history faculty, there's not nearly enough. How can you expect anyone can understand anything which is X number of hours of church history? I, I go department by department, and we've got a 635-hour Master of Divinity degree. And I could, I could justify that in a world in which I could have people for 12 years, but nonetheless. Um, so this is a dangerous question, but all three of you teach in this area. For someone to receive a standard theology degree, such as the Master of Divinity degree, how many hours in the biblical languages should be minimally expected? Well, I, I, go, go I, I would go at it a very different way, which is, um, in Britain, we don't count hours. I don't even know what your hours mean. Um, <laughs> I, I really don't. I, I would want to know how much of the text has someone read? And I would have thought that if someone's going to go out and be using this later, I would want them to have read several books of the New Testament uh, in Greek and several books of the Old Testament um, uh, in, in Hebrew. So I, I, I like to look at the quantity of text read. Uh, to me, that, and, and that's, that's the major index. Because if they spent lots of time memorizing vocabulary, that may be not very useful. <laughs> I... I, th I think there's a lot of things that could be said in this regard, but I, in my mind, it depends uh, what the student wants to do. If, if we're talking about the pastor, I mean, we have different students doing different things. If we're talking about the pastor, I think, I mean, our requirement is at least two exegesis, course, uh, beginning Greek and then the, the course thereafter. I think that's the minimum, uh, although it, it wouldn't meet the requirement you just uh, stated. I mean, they wouldn't have read through several books at that point. But I think even after they've had those two courses, if they keep at it, they, they could begin to read through books of the New Testament. I think that's going to be more difficult. The more, the more courses you've had in seminary, the more you'll be able to use it thereafter. Um, this is, I, I lived for nine years in Britain, so I, it's really amusing to, to hear this. I mean, when you start counting hours, you have to decide semester hours versus quarter hours, which is what they have over there. They don't call them quarters, they call them terms. And in any case, if you start counting years, then there's a different philosophy in education. By and large, British education teaching Greek works you through texts pretty hard, pretty fast. But it does not teach rigorous exegesis. Over here, we tend to teach pretty rigorous exegesis, but without working through enough texts. And you, at some point, you want to say, um, a plague on both your houses. Um, add some more hours, um, Mr. President. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but, but That's one, where this conversation always ends. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the buck stops there. Um, uh, but, but one of the ways of getting around it, at least we try to get around it at Trinity, besides the, the, the minimum MDiv courses that are, that are needed, we push as many students as possible to taking more courses. That is, not only advanced Greek grammar courses and things like that, but we have um, rapid reading courses where, where um, students are set to work through certain biblical texts and then come in one-on-one -on -one with you and for uh, half an hour just sit down and, and read through th three chapters of Romans and, and I throw questions at them. What does this mean? What does that mean? Without detail, detail, and th thus you gradually build up a quantity of biblical text that begins to, to, to meet the kind of demands that the British style gives. But they've already had um, a year or two of, of, of of exegesis. That's the ideal in my yes. view. I don't think ministers do a good job of keeping up their languages unless they get to a certain level of enjoyable reading competence. I don't think that they will, at least not many of them. Uh, if, if every use of the language is a real pain, a real strain, and you're, you're, you're fumbling your way through using the basic tools, it's, it's hard to be disciplined in doing it. If, on the other hand, you follow what Tom said rightly, you, you, you devote yourself just to reading a few minutes a day. You can, you can work through the whole Greek New Testament. Pretty. I had a couple of years of classical Greek before I started reading the New Testament. And when I finished seminary, uh, in the first two years of my ministry, I worked 
through the entire Greek New Testament on my own with a wide margin, with endless notes in the margin and so on, um, in the old BHBS versions, you know, and, uh, and, and, and that, that, that has stood me in huge stead just from having worked through the text. And, 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 and you have to become comfortable in order to enjoy it, and once you enjoy it, you'll never lose it.